Holy crap, Maria, did you see the season finale Game of Thrones this week? Uh, are dragons real and living among us and working as baristas? Hello, Carmen. Let me just tell you, Game of Thrones started off so strong this week, giving a little shout out to all those pain hungry queens. Maybe it really is all cocks in the end. And it's the annual Westeros corporate retreat, and it is not going smoothly. Everyday root touch-up shows up late, and so Dublin gift shop crown is pissed. We've been here for some time. Sorry, I'm on DPT, dragon people time. Have you ever been a single mother without any kids? It's hard, I just have dragons. And it's Saturday, so nobody wants to be there. We are a group of people who do not like one another until they find out there's a magic show. We can destroy them by burning them. And we can destroy them with dragon glass. Are you ready? And then John and Christina, they were having a little meet cute down at the boneyard and she was regaling him about how she is a barren as the Sahara honey. I can't have children. Who told you that? The witch who murdered my husband. It's like, why does she have to brag? It's like, yeah, I'm barren too, but I don't go telling people all the time. Yeah. I can't have babies, and it's awesome! And then my little baby Theon, he walks up to this gang of beach testers so we can sort out a search party for Lena Dunham, but rapist Captain Crunch is not having it. And then my baby Theon, he keeps getting up in spite of the constant abuse. And someone grows a sudden a new one where none exist. That's what happens with my husband. He, he had to pull out a ball. The doctor had to go in there, pull him out. Sometimes you have to wait, wait for it. Because he had an undescended nut? Yes. Guess what though? They're fully descendant now. Then at the PTA meeting, we think Sansa Fierce is going to execute baby Kill Bill, but turns out Earl Grey gets reversed Mr. Holland's opus. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? Lord Baelish. Lady Sansa, forgive me. I'm a bit confused. But instead of playing a symphony for him, he has to play a neck solo. Sansa. No, that was like the best part of the whole show and I don't even watch the show. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't know who either of those girls were. I didn't know why they are at Restoration Hardware or like where they had gotten all those Urban Outfitters pillows to wear, but it was exciting. Meanwhile, back at Google Maps, Vintage Mia Farrow is performing a full-on Jack Johnson concert serving nothing but flip-flops. The darkness is coming for us all. We'll face it together. Let the Stark boy and his new queen defend the North. We stay here where we've always been. And then in a shocking turn of events, Brother D and Vintage Mia Farrow, the incest twins of our hearts, break up. It is the most shocking breakup since Joey left Rachel. Was, or was it Ross? Who was on that show? It was like... The meat lover's pizza? Is that yeah. part of it? So back at Winterfell, Miss Cleo spills the family tea to Tubby Lubby that Jon Snow is Targaryen, which means he is Christina Aguilera's nephew, which for sure will not lead to anything weird at all. All that build up, and I essentially got my love scene between those two boiled down to like a skin to max me in, you know, fifth grade humping a pillow moment. But she's barren, right? So nothing's gonna happen anyway. Except yet everything can happen if you're barren. The world opens up. And uh, by the way, what a masterclass in acting by the kid in the wheelchair who's also blind, or is it both? I can't tell, he's acting so fucking hard. I'm already in the chair, but you gotta get the blind. <laughs> Ooh, honey, and then in that last scene, we had approachable Karl Lagerfeld blasting the shit out of Westeros sugar walls on his new dragon, Eiffel 65. Those condos took a long time to put up. This is a development. We, we have a, we have rules around here. 
What are we gonna do with this hair? I just think, just enjoy it. Oh no, the wall is falling. I live in the ice wall. What am I to do? Maria, you're serving me Brienne of Tarth working on that length realness. What's going on? It's like I'm from the pr pr Vale of Pretty. Where are my dragons? <laughs> You know what is a show that is underrated and underappreciated is A New Adventures of Old Christine. <gasps> oh, I haven't seen it. It was great. She literally has won an Emmy for every show she has ever done. Okay, is that really that interesting anymore? The greatness? No. <laughs> I mean, haven't we seen it? I want to see. I want to see you at a low ebb. 